welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how you can actually create text effects using your smartphone technically i'm gonna be teaching you how to make use of your photoshop on your smartphone all right using a very amazing website and most of you might have heard about all right so i will tell you everything about this website the reason why this website may not work on your phone and the reason why it should work okay and how to do certain things basic things on the particular website all right so let's get started so you just go to whatever browser you use preferably chrome and you just enter the search bar here and you type for the p for the p.com or you just type the photo p itself and the first site you see here you can see don't try to download the app from play store please do not download the app well, the app on Play Store is not really the original one. Just make sure you uh, download it from the website, actually. But I advise you to use the website directly. But if you need the app, actually, you can either add the website to your home screen or you see the option to download an app from the website, actually. So you click on Photo P. And here comes our, our online Photoshop. All right and it's free so you can actually edit different kinds of files from psd to illustrator i know a lot of them but majorly and basically this is your photoshop all right so there are many ways to edit um text effects actually there are many things you can do on photo p actually but we are basically discussing about text effects here and we have two ways two basic ways the first one is by importing an already downloaded psd file and i'm still going to be teaching you how to download that and um, i'm also big i'm also going to be giving you some premium um photoshop files yeah psd files all right some premium psd text effects so you can always make use of them and second way is that you can edit templates probably you you can't download files psd files or you don't have the storage or the particular text effect you have you need actually you don't have the file so you can just come to this template and pick whatever you need so you click on template and we have a lot of things here you can do more cops a lot of things right you can edit different kinds you can even create a complete flyer logo whatever thing business card on this particular website all right so to niche down to text effects the name it has here is sign right just click on sign okay click on signs so we've got about 120 templates you can see beautiful text effects you can see the first one which is golden seen a couple of persons use this as well okay and we have another gold we have movie we have gold gold and a lot of them so um which one i'm going to be using let's try to make use of this this gold all right so you click on it then you click on this you can or you just double tap then you would have to wait for a few seconds for it to load and um while we wait let me just tell you some basic things you need to know about this website for this website to run smoothly on your phone you should have at least four gig ram and above on your phone yeah yeah if you have up to three gig ram it works as well but four gig ram and above is the best so you have this already so you see this place this is your layer this is what every graphic designer should know even on your pixel lab you have something like this so when you click on it you see the layers all right you see the layers and all of that all right so i think this kind of text effect is easy it's easy already just come to your text area this is your text area you can see let me just show you you can see this t is where you see your text all right so we have the type two so you can actually type something here all right you can type thing and you see can type a lot of things you can delete whatever um, text that is there originally okay so this is a very simple template there are some templates that are more complicated i don't know if i can see an example now and do something like that but this is a very simple template so you just delete just delete whatever text you see there and put whatever you want to put you put it there All right, now let's say I want to write something that is about you know longer than this, probably a five or six letter words, and I feel like this thing is not gonna it's not gonna be enough. 
all right so this is what i do i come to the size area here and reduce the size this is 389 let's go for 329 then you you just enter this arrow here and it's there then you come back to this place and you can write whatever you want to write on the right i want to write thank you so i'm just going to write thank first right so you just do it bit by bit to avoid any kind of confusion now there is a shadow behind that thing you in some kind of text effects in psd file you can actually edit all of them together okay but the nature of this we are just going to hide it so i think it should be this light bloom so just click on this high and hide it all right it's hidden already so to move it all about you just come to this place you come to this place and move it right so just click on it move to okay so you can just you can use the tool to uh, we can call it transform you can use it to increase the size you can use it to decrease the size and to move it from one place to another all right so um before you you can see this is kind of lagging before you come to this website make sure you have uh, cleared your tabs in your your mobile phone and make sure you have um kind of if you have a particular place you can clear your you know the, your whole system clear it and probably restart it so everything will be back to normal because this particular website is very very powerful okay so let's see all right so here we go um our text is ready and how do you export it how do you change the font and all of that so um shall we do that let's do that so the first thing you should know that is that you are not making a complete design here you're just editing the text effect so you have to export this text effect in a in a format that there will not be background there right all right that's the png format okay so you come back to your layers here and you just layer i think you should know that already then you disable the background just hide the background and the mock-up behind it you can see that so i think we are good to go now so we can we can export it the way it is right we can export it the way it is right now let me check something second please steer anything locked up there okay all right so we are good to go so the way it is like this you can see it has no background no background here so you come to your file you come to your file and you export as png just click on png and just wait for a few moments right so while you wait you or while we wait you can just subscribe to my youtube channel yeah just click on the subscription button it's free actually and you like the video you can also share with others right and if there's anything you want to know you can just always let me know in the comment section right so here we are you can just pinch you can pinch all right so it won't be too big or too small you just pinch to your taste okay are uh, we good of course we are good so if your quality is not 100 you take it 100 and is there anything you want to change the format from png to jpg you can do that so i don't really need to do anything yet so you can see the save button here all right just click on save all right so it's downloading it's saved already can you see it's as simple as that so before we go further let me go to my pixel lab and show you something all right so all right so let me just quickly bring out a shape to cover whatever i might have done here before oh, okay let's just let's hide some of those things here let's just let's just hide them all right because i i just want the the text effects to be on this particular background so i don't want to take it off so i'm just gonna just give me a few minutes or a few seconds to lock to hide all the other elements that i don't want to be there all right what else 
oh sorry sorry something is wrong something is wrong so let's just let's just bring this up here or there is this particular background i've been looking for okay this let's bring this up okay It's one of the problems I have with this with this fashion of Pixel Lab. So let's change this to let's change it to blue or whatever color of your choice. I'm not saying you should use this. We just want to show um, to showcase whatever text effect we have here. All right. So let's see. Let's see how it looks like. So you come to your downloads. I think that should be the first thing here. All right. For it to be easy, just come to your sort, your sort by and put it on newest. Okay, so it will be easier for you to, to look at. You can see the text effect right now. So you might have seen someone, you know, creating something and, you know, if you're out, you create this text effect on Pixel Lab, right? So when you come to this place, this is what you need to do. Come to your color filters. You can change the color to blend with whatever design you want to make. You can see that. You can see you can see how beautiful this is looking right now right so you can just use your ew to do that and um the next thing you'd you'd want to do is you would want to uh, make it you know sharper right sharper than the way it's looking right now you just come to your contrast and give it some contrast okay um you may want to add some uh, effects to it but i wouldn't advise you to do that it's beautiful enough already but if you are sure of yourself you can come to your inner shadow enable your inner shadow and um, do something lighter you know like lighter version of the particular color is this inner shadow let's go for inner shadow please all right so you reduce this and just work with your offsets okay and that's that's just it. all right you can just do all this all right but this may not be necessary for all text effect so that's just what i'm trying to let you know you can see how beautiful this is looking right now think so um let's go before we conclude let's go back to okay we can edit this thing as well just come to your text again and um just click on it. you can see you can see that we delete just one after the other and do whatever you need to do Okay, so I'm just gonna write you. All right, so that is thank you. And we just go through the same process again. And um, the process is just coming to your file. I need to repeat this, then come to your export as, and you see your PNG here and we are good to go. All right, so immediately you click on the PNG, everything will download immediately right just come to this place and click on your save all right so i'm gonna create another part that is just download again i'm gonna create another part of this video and in the next part we are going to be learning how we can change font all right change of particular font because we have some default font on this particular website and if you have some font you have downloaded on your mobile phone you know the fonts you use for your designs on pixel lab they are on your phone here then you, you want to import them to this photo p you can do that all right and you want to edit some kind of um, PSD files, external PSD files actually, and some templates that may be complex. So I'm going to create another part of this video. All right. So do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and do not forget to share this video with others. If there's anything that's confusing, you can always come to the comment section and uh, make your complaint, your request, whatever thing you would want to say. All right. Thank you very much once again. I'm Samuel Precious.